Hi, it's Leon from Wildwood Bushcraft. Normally at this time of year, we would be down at the Green Crafts at Glastonbury teaching survival skills. Uh, instead, we're gonna to put together a little demo for you to try at home. So today we're gonna to have a look at making some cordage with natural materials. And first of all, I thought I'd show you some fibers, some natural fibers that can be used for, for making cordage. Lime fiber cordage, this is made from the bark of the lime tree. Um, this is made with clematis. This is a little bunch of willow fiber. Some little, little fine uh, pieces here, which are actually nettle, which we're gonna be working with in a minute. And they're quite a bit smaller than those pieces, but they're quite suitable, very, very strong. One of the strongest natural fibers that you'll get in the UK. So uh, now the fun bit, we're gonna pick some nettles and uh, we're gonna use them to make some, to create some fibers from them. Um, this is probably better done with gloves for most people, but I'm quite used to handling them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And what I'm gonna then do is I'm gonna take off all of the little stings by running my hand along it like this, taking all the, all the leaves off. And as you go up and down like this, you actually remove a lot of the stings. Uh, and it's then quite safe to hand to somebody and to use. But yeah, better done with gloves for most people. So now I've got this, this sort of stem here. Uh, and what I'm aiming to do here is to get the, the skin on the outside off. So it's like inside there's a kind of pithy, woody area. And I'm just literally opening it up with my fingernails. And um, once I've got it completely open, I'll be able to remove some of the wood. So it's just a case of working your way along. Some people um, use a little bit of wood to flatten this to open it up quite easily with the nails and there we go we've got it completely open there and what I'm going to do is bend it and then I can remove these these woody fibers here and to leave behind these strong uh, fibers on the outside and they've got quite a, a bit of elasticity in them as well so they're very useful for making things like a, a bow string and that kind of so there we go. Um, so I've got I've removed most of the wood there, and I'm then separating out these into separate fibres. So I've got a couple of strands here, and I'm just going to kind of put them together, and then I'm going to twist them, and I'm twisting them in a particular direction. I'm twisting away from myself with my right hand. So the key thing here is to remember which, to decide on a direction, usually away from yourself, and then stick with it. And I'm twisting it until it becomes quite tight. And then it's eventually it will get to a point where it's it's getting so tight that it wants to kink up like this. You see a little kink and you get a little, little twist, um, little, little loop there. And once you've got that, you want this, this loop to be somewhere off center on your piece of cordage so that it doesn't end up like that in the middle where the, the cord, the join would be in the same place. You want it to be a little bit further along, somewhere like that, around about a third of the way along. And then you get your little kink there. Once you've got that, you then pinch that and you start working with the individual two strands you've got and you start twisting those two strands in the same direction as you were doing before, just as I'm doing here. And once I've got one tight, I'm using these, these fingers here to sort of clamp it and then I'm working on the other side here and I'm using these fingers here to clamp this piece as I turn it. So the idea is to keep hold of the, of the kink in my thumb and forefinger and to turn these individual strands so they become really taut, but I don't let them kink up this time. And once I've got them both taut, I can then grab hold of the ends like this, and I let go of the kinked up bit, and you'll see it starts to turn around a little bit, and I can just tweak it a little bit. I'm not twisting it, but I'm just tweaking it. I'm letting it go to where it wants to go to, and you can see you've got the beginning of a bit of string there. So I'm taking an extra fiber here, which shows you how to elongate the string beyond what you started with. So what I'm doing is I've got a little, a little leg here which I'm going to overlap with. So I'm going to literally lie that alongside like that. And then I'm going to carry on twisting one around the other. Same as before, until they're, they're twisted about each other. I hold that tight and then I work on this strand here, just as before. And when they're both tight, I can let go of them. And then the whole strand will kind of twist around itself and uh, start to wrap and lock it in. And you can see you've got the beginnings of the cordage. So then you just basically carry on. And that's, that's the basic process there of uh, making cords. So here's a small section I've just made up. Um, to give you an idea how strong it is, it's actually quite hard for me to break. I'm putting quite a bit of force here and I, I actually can't break it. 
it's pretty strong so uh, yeah there you go